Resolution and relief for families with sick children. You may have seen our numerous reports on this topic. Families contacting us, aid on your side, because of a battle between insurance giant United Healthcare and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Well, tonight we are back with the follow up about a new agreement. Jeff Patterson joining us live from the hospital tonight in St. Petersburg. Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Keith. When it comes down to it, this is just a business deal, but for the families affected, it's a decision with a major impact on their lives. At just six weeks of age, doctors found a baseball-sized cancerous tumor on little Caleb Kreiskowski's brain. He's a fighter. He's very strong-willed. Caleb's mother, Lisa, is a fighter, too. Her son is now nine but needs continuing medical care. When we first met Lisa, she was devastated because United Healthcare Insurance told her she could no longer go to the hospital that has been caring for Caleb since he was first born. It's not just another MRI where we're... This is... This is cancer screening. I'm sorry. After our story aired, United Healthcare revisited their decision on Caleb, allowing him to go back to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Thursday evening, the insurance company and the hospital finally reached a decision that will allow all United Healthcare customers to be covered here. We were really worried about that with the United Healthcare coverage, but News Channel 8 came through for us, and you guys, I mean, you came through for us. We were so happy about that and so thankful because it wouldn't have happened without you all. Hospital President Dr. Jonathan Allen told me the insurance company decided to come back to the bargaining table when they heard stories like the Kraskowskis. The fact that families spoke up and basically said that it was very important for them that Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital was available to them for care. And I think United heard that. Which means a lot to parents like Lisa Kraskowski. Words can't express how happy we are. And, you know, it's just good that they reached an agreement. Yeah, and we're happy for her family, too. United Healthcare sent out a statement on this saying that this hospital and the physicians who work here are now considered in network again, meaning families can come here and can continue their care here. A new multi year agreement takes effect on July 1st, Keith. Boy, what a relief for Lisa and Caleb and that entire family and so many others, Jeff. They got this deal done, and that's great, and we don't want to downplay that, but. Is it likely the same issue could come up again when this contract expires? Yeah, I asked Dr. Ellen, the head of the hospital, that very question, Keith, and he told me that he's confident because of the agreement that they've just signed that patients in United Healthcare will be able to be cared for here for years to come. Great, great news. Jeff Patterson with the update. Thank you.